of it, no defeat, but very encouraging performance. I like. I thought the performance was outstanding, um, and we're absolutely gutted that we're not going away with at least a point. Um, obviously, there was times when Linfield dominated the game, but equally so, I thought we were very organised, very disciplined, and when we broke, we broke with purpose, and um, particularly you know, the start of the second half when. You know, the ball was deflected off the line and over the bar and then Kenneth came with a tremendous effort um, which hit the wrong side of the post. If it hit the right side and gone in, it would have been a wonder goal. You know, and um, I think what really pleased me was after Luton Linfield scored, then you know, most, most teams and most players would have thought, well, we've come here and we've done quite well and, and that's a respectable performance and sure, you know, that, that's OK. Not a chance. Another chance, and that would really, really please me. The players got up, they got back onto it, they were pressing, they were probing, they were looking to get forward. And um, as I say, you know, I, I really pleased with the performance. God, we didn't get something, but very proud of the of the players. And I've got to say, of our supporters who sang and encouraged and chanted and and really, really helped us tonight. And there was an incident in the game, David, where Kenny Kane, there was reports that Kenny Kane, if he'd have went down, he would have got a penalty early, late on in the in the first half. What do you make of that? I think that Kenneth is a very, very, very honest player. He's a very honest young man. Um, and uh, I never encourage my players to do anything which is outside of the law of the game or even to, to bend. You know, if you do the right thing, then ultimately the right thing will, will, will always stand by you. Um, I've no doubt that um, if he had made such great efforts to stay on his feet, then it was a penalty. With that, there was no doubt. Jordan Williamson, another great performance from him. Immense. Absolutely immense. Little groin, niggling. Big David Parkhouse kicked his, his fingers there, so he's, he's in a wee bit battered and bruised. But um, Jordan has been in fabulous form of late really has recalibrated in terms of his own uh, vision for himself about where he wants to get to, working very hard under under Darren and um, very pleased with his performance. You were missing two key players tonight as well David, Jude Winchester and Connor Keeley, could you, could you give us an update on their situation? Uh, Jude has had a really bad chest infection, was very keen to be involved tonight but when I spoke to him ye yesterday, last evening, he was he was sounded just simply lousy um, and that's the long and short of it and unfortunately for Big Connor, um, we, we, as I say, we're, we're persistent in, in doing our lateral flows tests and uh, a couple of them come back uh, positive so while he still has got to go for his PCR we weren't taking the risk but Again, two big players for weren't weren't available for us, and uh, their their contribution you know was missed. But when you see the contribution of the players this evening, um, as I say, I'm just very pleased and very proud. Just on the topic of COVID, David, we've seen what's happened in Scotland and Wales. Can you see that coming into effect over here? Well, without not wanting to be prescriptive, Alex, you know, I said at the weekend both on the radio. And, and in the local press that of paramount importance is the health and well-being of players, of supporters and of all of those associated with the game. I've been consistent uh, in saying we should be listening you know, to the advice and guidance of our, of our medical folk um, and I think of what Minister Robin Swan has been guiding and direct, to directing us thus far, he has been absolutely first class. Now, to me, it's a wee bit of an all or nothing, you know, in my book, because I'm thinking of all of the people, if, if we had limited numbers going going in, then that's a very hard task to decide, well, who should be in and who, should, who shouldn't be in, you know, and that's, mm -hmm. that's the long and short of it. So I have no answers, uh, and because, as I say, I've consistently said that we should be following the, the guidance of, of our, our top medical people and of Minister Swan. Uh, and, and if they decide that, you know, they, they limit the numbers, well, so be it. But to me, it, it's 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 either all, all or nothing, to tell you the truth. Just finally, David, then, next one, Corian and Boxing Day. How big a game will that be? Oh, it'll be a huge game. 
obviously Boxing Day Derby games are always huge and you know I've been involved in, in a number down the years obviously primarily with Linfield and Glen Torn um, Ards and Bangor was always a, a tasty affair back, back in the day and um, certainly th th it'll be a game that we're all looking forward to for all the right reasons um, and as I say we will just go out and do our best and, and see where that takes us. Mm -hmm.